This is Savannah Hernandez for Action 7 News. I'm at CPAC 2020 and I ran into Ashley St. Clair. Hello. How are you doing, ma'am? Good, how are you? I'm doing great. Who are you looking forward to seeing at CPAC this year? Why is this event so important? Of course, Trump, absolutely Trump. But I'm also looking forward to see Don Jr. speak because he's always got something fresh and new. He's like a younger version of his dad. So that's always fun to see. But those are the two I'm most excited about, even though that's generic. Definitely not. Trump is always so fun to listen to. I haven't been to a rally yet, but I can't wait to go to one. So there's a lot of events going on, a lot of different issues being talked about. But what do you think is one of the most important issues that we as conservatives need to bring to light, need to focus on ahead of 2020? I think censorship will be a big thing. A lot of these voices that we had in 2016 are silenced now. They're no longer around or they're only on Telegram. I think it's really important for Trump to try to pass some anti-censorship legislation. Platform access, in my opinion, is a civil right. So I think that will be the biggest thing so we can have as many voices as possible for 2020. Definitely. And we are actually having our emergency Save the First Amendment Summit tonight at the Omni Shoreham in Washington, D.C. I believe Miss St. Clair is going to be there. I will be. So very exciting there. Um, also, did you watch the Democratic debate last night? I did not. No? I did not. Did you see I the saw the highlights on Twitter. Biden, Bernie, they need to go. They're too old for this. Too old. So a poll actually just came out today saying that Joe Biden is leading for the South Carolina primaries. What do you think about that? What do you think of all the candidates as well? I think Bloomberg's probably going to end up getting the nomination. I think people are tired of Biden. People, No one's going to vote for Bernie unless they're below 35. Um, but Bloomberg's buying his way into the nomination. He's doing a good job at it. When he said that he would release all those women from their NDAs for the, uh, the sexual harassment cases or whatever that was, it was transparency. And he's bringing things that a lot of people want to see. As much as I dislike him, he's playing the game very well.